looking through my freezer and i came across a whole lamb neck that's cut down lengthwise and two big ribs short ribs so i'm gonna roast these in the oven here i have a large can of the italian style peeled tomatoes i'm gonna put part of it on this uh the lamb necks and the beef ribs i'm gonna put half here drizzle some olive oil put some allspice i want the flavors to uh favor each other so i'm gonna do the exact same seasonings on both the ones with the dawadi and the ones baked in the oven i'm gonna put some montreal steak seasoning i get this from either um, costco or sam's i have seen it at target and at walmart but there it's not as large of a container this has a lot of really great ingredients in it so i don't know if y'all have seen this this is a halal um, chicken flavored seasoning by noor and i'm really loving it um, i'm gonna put some of this too so here I have some red onion, I'm just gonna put that here. And then I've got some garlic that I just sliced up, put some here. This one, since it's roasting, I always like to put some type of acid on my, my lamb or my beef when I'm roasting it. Um, so I'm gonna put some of my white balsamic vinegar as well here. All right, and now I'm ready. So I'm just smashing the tomatoes and I'm gonna mix it all together. And here my meat is ready to be roasted. Look how beautiful it looks. We've got all the seasonings on it. Um, it's gonna let out a lot of its natural liquid, so I'm not adding any water to it. Um, if y'all want, tell me and I will try to write down what I did today. Um, so I'm just gonna cover it with foil and I'm gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I put the casserole dish on a baking sheet just in case there's any spillage. It'll just go right into the baking dish instead of in the oven. Um, and when my oven is preheated, that's when I'll put my meat in. Look, here it is. Oh, you're not getting the. That is okay. I can have milk.